Tonight's show is sponsored by vaccines. They're free and save people. Get one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CAGAS episode number 691. I'm your host, GPD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who's got his own Cosby suite, but it's only because he's a really big fan of Jell-O, Wombat. No, I have a Crosby suite. And it's named after Norm Crosby, the kind of mild, oh, dead stand-up comedian. Not Bing Crosby. He used to beat his kids. Right. I want to make sure everyone knows. Or Sidney Crosby, the hockey player. The hockey player. I was going to go with that one, too. I wasn't sure where to go. I'm sticking with mine. Mm-hmm. I like that one. Welcome to the show, everybody. Shipwreck, how you doing? I, I'm doing well. I'm, I, I don't know. I have to rethink my, my love of Bing Crosby, apparently. <laughs> boo <Boobity boo. laughs> Oh, there he is. Hey there, hey there shipwreck. Boo, 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 boo. What would Bing Crosby say about uh, getting vaccines? He would say, get a vaccine or I'll get the stick. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> nice. Everyone's is that enjoying before this. or after he was doing blackface? I want to say probably yes. During. <laughs> During. Mm-hmm. Boo, 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 bitty, boo. Nice. So how's everybody doing? Everybody been watching the Olympics? Uh, you know what? I have watched some. I'm trying to remember what I watched. I watched people swim, and they it's went called from, swimming. They went from one end of the pool to the other, and then back again. It was very exciting. That's boring. Yeah. No, it is. You should watch the table tennis. It's like the first time that you get to see well-produced table tennis. With like good, I mean, you know, good camera work and like dramatic announcing, it's a rare opportunity. I watched a little fencing. I watched fencing. some badminton. There you go. I, watch I saw surfing things. last night when we were out. We went out for dinner, my wife and I. And yeah, that's the only place I've been seeing it is if we go to a restaurant and it's on the TVs. Right. That's the I only time. That. So I've seen I've seen badminton. I've seen some women's volleyball. I saw some water. Polo tonight. <laughs> Watch the table tennis. Some Why dressage. You... I think I saw some dressage. Massage is it in the Olympics now? No, dressage. That's, That's not when someone gets wounded in war and they have no. to fix it on the battlefield. No, it's not. What is it really? <laughs> it's a horse thing. It's a horse dancing. It's horse gymnastics, <laughs> That's, basically. That's not good. It's a floor routine for horses. Horses. <laughs> Watch the table tennis. It's good. It's good. Trust me. And there's there's a lot more table tennis coming up. I watched some archery. Archery was one of those ones tennis. where, like, I originally thought, like, all right, I, I, I bet anybody, like, if they put enough time into it, could do this archery. And then they panned out and they showed how far away they actually were doing the archery from. And I changed my mind very quickly and and said, nope. These but guys isn't that good. everything? These people are only good because they've spent at least eight hours a day doing it. For... No, I don't think that's true of like volleyball. I don't think like you don't think you'd get good at volleyball if you played eight hours a day for like I don't think you get Olympic years. like if 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 you went and played volleyball cheapy you have volleyball height if you d- devoted your life to bo- volleyball you're still not going to be an Olympic volleyball player no you would not how do how do you know <laughs> if I played volleyball volleyball eight hours Mama, a day you can't even say it if right. I played well, volleyball a, well, I'm the, going to volleyball boo-boo. is it Bing Crosby's back hey <laughs> boo 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 you know what? But okay, maybe I'm not going to be in the Olympics, but I could be. I'm. A, I'd be a really good volleyball player. You'd think, right? Is that the sport you would pick? Like archery? Which, which, of these, which one of of these sports do you look at and go like, if I really dedicated myself, I might have a shot. None of them. I mean, like it depends what you like. I mean, because no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't? depends on the ones that we're standing still. Well, you know, it's funny because we watch <laughs> we watch the surfing Olympic surfing. Yeah, you're out. And, oh, I know I can't do it, but it also is like the most subjective thing and the most like it feels luck based also because, yes, I understand you have to be an excellent surfer in order right. to do it. But if I'm Poseidon is angry, he's going to push I'm you right off. I'm not discounting their skill, but like what if the person before you gets like a wave that is just that much better to surf on than the next person? Is it, you know, it, again, it just seems like there's a little bit more luck involved. I'm not still saying Chibi can't do it, 
I'm just saying if I feel like there's a little bit more luck involved. I, I look, I'm obviously not that coordinated or athletic, but um I am I'm doing what I can. And I'm probably well, no, right. right. I don't have I'm looking, I'm looking for the, the. I bet GB could do rowing machine in the Olympics. <laughs> That's an actual sport, though. They, they just make it into an actual boat. Right. And put oh, it in water. Wait, wait, I don't understand. <laughs> they don't use the machine in the Olympics. They use I don't the boat. understand. Probably. Probably. I'm just guessing. I don't know. I think they have access to boats. Um, yeah, whatever. I, I just. That's not the point. The point is, Mrs. Cheapy said that my muffin top was looking slightly smaller. You said that the other day, so there's progress being made. Nice. That's that's the Olympic goal. So you're looking for the Olympic events where the guys actually have the muffin tops, so those are the ones you want to go like, okay, maybe that's the one I need to try for. Like bowling? Or or some of those like air air pistol ones. Yep. Yep. Like there's a lot of shooting ones. You could try for those. But I like table tennis. Why can't I do table tennis? Because you're not good enough. But if I played eight hours a day <laughs> since I was like four, then I could have been good enough. Maybe. I will build the time machine and we will find out. But it's, you know, it's, it's irrelevant. Yeah, I, know. I played today, though, in the city. But more importantly, I had the best tacos that I ever had today at Los Tacos Number 1, which is a, a taco spot in the city. There's a few of them. And I believe that's the tacos number one. Yes, that's a tough. I use Google Translate. Is it? Right. Is it the number one, or it is, is it? Do they actually spell out what? N O, period one, the number one. Isn't that Uno no. then? Yeah, it should be Uno. Los Tacos Uno. But they did it their way. They want to be number one. Los Tacos number one. I think that's the joke, or the name. <laughs> uh-huh. I know it's the name. They, that's the way they want to do it. Anyway, they have like, it's ridiculous what's, what's going on there. There's no table. You got to stand up and eat them like a, at like a counter. But if you're in like Times Square area or there's, there's a couple other ones, you got to go to that spot. That's the best I've had so far. And that's what we're missing on Long Island is a proper taco spot like that. We, all we have is, we don't even have Chipotle, which sucks. But we have, we have tons of Chipotle. We have tons. We all, I don't have any around here, but they, that sucks compared to. I have to, like four, but I don't go to Chipotle. Chipotle is its own thing. It doesn't suck. It's just not. Right. It's, it's I not like Guac the Shop. And right. tacos. I'm, right. I'm a Guac Shop fan, personally. There is a little ta- like traditional taco place close to my house that I've been to, but right. my wife doesn't like it. So I've only what? been there like once. I like the places where you get it's like one taco. Each each taco is like four dollars or so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and two or three is enough to like fill you up. And maybe you. Oh, you, how many are you eating? Like seven or eight. No, you're not. No, I'm not. I tried to. I go right before table tennis, so I, I don't want to eat too much because it could be, you know, training for the Olympics. Mm-hmm. But anyway, <laughs> keep that in mind. Keep that in mind if you're in Manhattan and you're looking for a quick spot. That number uh, Los Tacos number one. Uh, we got some show feedback. Sure. What? Okay. Phil wants to know because there wasn't much, many comments in the show thread. Again, I think three. So I used two of them. Phil wants to know what's the deal with Watch This Boys. I I don't know what is he referring to. Like name. the name Watch This. I don't Boys? think he means the the name. I think it's because we're telling people what they should watch. Watch this, boys. And we know that 97% of our listeners are boys or so men. There you go. Probably men Pro- at this point. Problems? I don't know about that. Uh, problem solved. They grew up with us. Now they're men. That's true. They're all and- fucked up. Cthulhu <laughs> <laughs> 8, you said, disco fries sound like a lazy version of poutine. This was in reference to Shipwreck wanting to know what the cuisine of Long Island was. I'm offended at this typical attempt to cheapen a Canadian culture staple. Plus, the name sucks. What's next? Replace all maple syrup with corn syrup and calling it dubstep sauce? Well, first idea. of all, don't be smirch dubstep like that. I love dubstep. <laughs> True. Uh, so, disco fries and poutine are not the same thing. Poutine is cheese curds and they're not melted. This is fries with mozzarella cheese on top and then put under a broiler so the cheese melts and actually gets a little bit of a crust on top. That sounds good. Without the crust on top, it's not a proper disco fry. Mm, my muffin yeah. top is growing just thinking about it. I know. Fries. Well, Cabo Wabo chimed in and says, said, and this was from YouTube, egg cream and disco fries. 
Now, Shipwreck, have you ever had an egg cream? That's what that was where I wanted to bring this up. No, I've never had an egg cream. That's a drink, right? Yes. Yeah. Do you know it's in an egg cream? How do you like your eggs, Chip? <laughs> no, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna. What is in an egg cream? Can you what, tell me? No, what's I can't tell you. What's it, I, I'm gonna guess soda water. Yes. Yes. Because Long Island people love that. Um, we do. Look, I'm even drinking. I know. Right I know. It's a. It's a. It's a thing there. Um. Wow, what else is in there? It's just soda water that that, that, that has something that makes it murky. I'm not even what sure. I know. Murky? I don't think I know. Oh, I used to have egg creams a lot when I was a youth. Chocolate syrup. There is chocolate syrup in an egg cream. There and is, an ice cream. No ice cream. There uh, is one other ingredient. You're it putting is... chocolate syrup in seltzer water. Yeah, but there's something else. That what's the uh, the main ingredient? I don't remember what it is. What do you use with chocolate syrup? Ice cream. No. Whip, whipped cream. No. Butter. No. Chocolate syrup is used to make what drink? Milk. Milkshake. Milk. Hey, milk. Oh, it's it milk. It is milk, soda water, and chocolate syrup. Why? Because it tastes good when mixed together. <laughs> well, you got to put ice in there and blend it up and make it frothy, right? No. No. You don't do that? No. What? It should you just, be cold. You don't even. You don't even let them. But it does get. It does get like it. Like you know. You a want head to completely on it, like separated beer. when you're drinking it. I feel so you like no, you, you do blend it. Levels. You don't blend that shit. I think you do blend no, that. No, you know, some you ice cubes. No, you just stir it. I trust me. I know how to make an egg cream. I believe you. I know. <laughs> don't. I don't know if my kids have ever had an egg cream. To be honest, so it's sort of a dead drink. It's a very '50s New York thing. I think you had I don't to like that at that all. Time. I don't. I'm. I'm not a big chocolate guy. Well, you don't like with. chocolate. I knew that. And so I don't you like, like you seltzer. Like... Would you rather have so, eggs in it? I would. Re like an egg would make more sense than most of the other ingredients. <laughs> in I'm just saying that is what a uh, what an egg cream is. I, you don't have to like it. You don't have to want one. That's still what an egg Fact. cream is. <laughs> right. Just like the, the vaccines. Fries, Disco fries are great. But remember, it's got to go under a broiler. It's got to get melted with like just the, the beginnings of like a crust on top. It is not poutine. It is different. Also, there are some there were some New Jersey listeners that tried to claim disco fries. Um, they're wrong. OK, <laughs> no, it's what fine. does New Jersey get to claim? Uh, they have the fat sandwiches. OK, yeah. I don't, I don't, what's that? That's a sandwich that has everything on it. That's what does what that mean? Even? Like can have everything a, on it. It has. It, it would be like a, a, a chocolate sauce with Milk. with uh, chicken fingers and mozzarella oh, sticks. Oh, that's gross. That's stupid. And, yeah, I I know what you mean. Again, it's not. It's that's not just me. Like, like I didn't invent it. Right, right. It's like the kitchen sink. Yeah, yeah on a between two slices mm -hmm. of bread. Yes, it's the Rutgers University sandwich. Thank you, Karamanju, for okay. for uh, clarifying in the chat. Yes. Um and Mad Mad S twenty two nailed it. Said, "Love the show, guys. I'm a 33 year old dad with two little ones, a three year old and a one year old. So I don't have much time to gain these days. But listening to you guys on my podcast app for an hour plus has been a welcome part of my week since college days, oh eight or oh nine. Catching up on earlier episodes now. Thanks a bunch for posting the entire archive." Maybe one day I will finally know what Brett's done references from either missed that episode or it happened before I started listening. I want to say that might be a pre 08 episode. It doesn't matter. There's a clip. There's a, a Shanna fan created CAD cast clip on YouTube. If you uh, probably type in CAD cast Brett's done, I would not be surprised if it comes up. I guarantee you it will. And also, yeah, never mind. I was going to say yep. something gross, but I didn't because I'm That's an adult. Okay. Thank you. That's okay. After this, we're going to go out for egg creams and disco fries. Mm -mm. Uh, well, if, if, next time shipwreck comes to New York, if we go to a diner, I'll get an egg cream just so you can try it. You can, you can drink it. I, <laughs> Shipwreck I can watch it. you drink it. Right. And I'll enjoy it. So that's what it looks like. I don't think I've had an egg cream in 20. No, it has to you're, be more than 25. You're really selling it. It might be 28 <laughs> years since the last time I had an egg cream. So, <laughs> Yeah, it's not that great. Mm -hmm. I disagree should we move on to watch this boys y yes i watched a good movie that i would recommend to everybody uh especially if you've grew up grew up reading encyclopedia brown or the hardy boys 
I did I did those. Uh it's a movie called The Kid Detective, which I believe is on Stars and maybe available elsewhere. And it's about what would happen when Encycl- Encyclopedia grows Encyclopedia Brown grows up and maybe like things aren't really going his way. Like he seemed on top of the world when he was like twelve, but maybe when he grows up he's just like a regular, like run of the mill detective, down on his luck private detective. And that's the concept here. It's a, I would say it's a dark comedy and it's uh, with starring Adam Brody and it was really well done. So to Mrs. Cheapy, I don't even know how she found it, uh, but we just watched that and, and it's under two hours, which is great. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really great. The Kid Detective, try to check that out. Yeah. And if you, if you did watch, uh, if you did read those books growing up, then you're going to enjoy it even on a, like a, on the next level, but it's great regardless. And we are all caught up on Schmigadoon on Apple TV. Ship, have you started oh, nice. watching that? I know Wombat watched I haven't, it. I haven't yet. We have been watching uh, Ted Lasso and the uh, Miracle Workers started up again. So we were Miracle Workers that. Is, is good. Mm-hmm. It's, I, yeah, I'm caught up on Miracle Workers. I'm caught up on Schmigadoon. And I'm caught up on Ted Lasso. Schmigadoon is pretty great. Schmigadoon is really great. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> I even, uh, you know, anybody who likes musicals will like that, like Corn sort of matic- like automatically, like it, like so. I said I recommended it to my mom, and mm-hmm. she loves it. Like she's just like, oh, thanks so much for the recommendation. Same here, actually. My mother also thoroughly enjoyed Schmigadoon, which is weird because it also appeals to me, a young yeah. hip man. And me, <laughs> a younger hit man, hipper man, a, a, a young hit man. <laughs> look, at all, look at all these Apple Plus subscribers, Apple uh, TV Plus. That's right. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. right. I got to get my money's worth. There's you should no- watch Mega Dune though, Ship. I will. It's yeah. on my watch list. It, yeah. It's just uh, we had some stuff before it. We had to we had to get through our n- normal stuff, the stuff that was top of the list. Did you know that Ted Lasso is still great? Did I did. did. I, did you... I watched the first episode of that and I went, yep, still got it. <laughs> I'm not there yet. I got to wait. That's gotta, okay. Got to catch up. Uh, I'm also all caught up, caught up on The White Lotus, which is on HBO. Wombat, have you watched that? Mm-mm. It's really good. I just said I watched Megadoon. Okay, but maybe and you Ted watched Lasso. other things. I don't know. I told you about it a couple <laughs> weeks ago. I thought maybe you checked it out. It's really good. And, you know, I'm sure Wombat knows who Steve Zahn is. I had to Google yeah. to see who that guy was. The guy who's in everything, but no one knows his name. Star of my favorite movie. Which one? That Thing You Do. Oh. That's my favorite movie so, of all time. This may be his best role. He's pretty great in this. And the scene, there's a scene at a bar in the most recent episode between him and the manager, which is, uh, it's really fantastic. So I would definitely recommend The White Lotus as well. A lot of good TV right now. Chip, did you watch uh, the Snake Eyes movie? I haven't seen it yet. I, I still intend to. It's just I have not found like the three hours that I need to go watch a movie by myself at a movie theater. Right. My, um, my son beat you to the theater. Well, he has a lot more time on his hands. <laughs> in fact, that's the first movie that he's seen in a theater with his, just his friends. Oh, it's a memorable one then. Yes. He said it was good. So that's his Gremlins 2 then. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, he seems to like it. And like you said, you don't have to have any prior G.I. Joe knowledge because I guess they just made it all up for this they movie. They just made it all up for this. <laughs> they, they, they brought in some, some relevant plot points, I think, but it's all just made up. I saw like snippets of an interview with Larry Hama, the guy who wrote all the lore for the mm-hmm. original G.I. Joe stuff. I'm well, telling the listeners, not you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and he was like, yeah, whatever. So it's fine. Where's ship going? What just happened I don't there? Know. I don't know. What ha- uh, oh, there you go. There's ship with Larry Hama. Nice. Yes. There, there he is. Yes. Gotta put that I, in that's a frame. why I wanted to clarify. I wasn't explaining to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, he's like, yeah, sure. I'll be in your movie and get some royalties here. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. So I know, I know he has his, uh, there's a fly flying around here. Oh, um, I know, gotta... I know he has his cameo in it, like Stan Lee. So nice. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching it. I, 
if it was available to stream on a service right now, I would have watched it already. Right. Just kind of at the time. Kind of where I'm at, right? Yeah, they should do that. It is. It's coming to Paramount Plus, which was really strange. Like, if you have the Paramount Plus thing that just like launched, like, I don't know, three, four months ago, and you have like a big like movie that nerds are looking to watch. But then you're just like, oh, we're going to put it out on our service like 45 days after it's out in theaters. That's probably contractual. It probably, well, but it's, it's them. It's, it's their movie. No, it doesn't matter. It's, it's not even necessarily contracts with the studio. It could be contracts with the actors in it where it has to be a theatrical release before they could release it streaming. It's, it's or a the, bad move because you know the, that like, yeah. if you don't go like those first couple weeks, you're like, uh, I could just watch this at my house and, and, and three more weeks mm-hmm. it's it's not a it's not a winning strategy well, i think I'm not the winning strategy is like this either so is the chart i think the disney strategy is the winning strategy in all this oh you charge more yeah right just... charge the 30 dollars on top of the streaming service to get there and the hbo strategy isn't, Widow. <laughs> isn't winning strategy to me either like no just like here's our movies i guess they're out but that's the go. best that's the best for me so yeah yeah <laughs> Because I'm excited to watch Suicide Squad and I'm right. I'm do excited a to damn watch Suicide thing. Right. And then I'm going to cancel my free month of it right after that. Uh, that's funny. Yeah. Anyway. Did you guys watch the new Ghostbusters trailer? From the director of Juno? Yes. It's. Don't they know that it's old nerds that want to watch this movie, not like young kids? But they want young kids. They to want watch the young this. kids. But the nerds, old nerds, are waiting. They already have the old nerds. Mm, the old nerds, I feel like they may not have and them. And you know what it is? I think, that, and also, I think, don't you have a child that you yeah. can go see this movie with? So now it's old. It's a nerd lot of movies though. With child. A lot of movies out there. I don't know. It didn't look funny either. Way it's not. It's not a you. funny movie. Ghostbusters. I mean, it's about Hello, to Ghostbusters. Uh-huh. Hopefully it's great, like the last one. Um, the new He-Man show on Netflix. I watched all five episodes. I watched half of the first episode. I'm disappointed in you. I thought you would make it at least through the first episode because I can't even talk about it until right. you finish the first episode. Okay, here's the thing. You're gonna it's spoil literally it? 22 <laughs> minutes long. You're going to spoil the, the He-Man cartoon for us? <laughs> He wants I to. mean, I could if no one cares. <laughs> he has the power to do that. It's not even a He-Man show. First I saw him. His butt kind looks of. bigger than I remember. It's not really a. Uh, it's not really a He-Man show. It's not him. Oh, no! It's a it's Masters him. of the Universe show, right? It's a Masters of the. It's Tila and the Masters of the Universe. The, okay. My problem with the at least the first yeah. episode. And I, uh, that's not a complaint, by the way. I actually. Oh, really I, I know it. what you're saying, Wombat. I'm saying I hate women. Right. Too many women yeah, in it. Too many women. Too many empowered women. Why is yep. the why are the women so strong in this? I know. Why can the why is Tila, who's always been a strong fighter for the last 30 years, why is she a strong fighter all of a sudden? <laughs> it's not like she was raised by the captain of the guard or anything. How can she be man at arms? Isn't, isn't She's she a woman. The, isn't she the sorceress's daughter? Well, that they we know that, but she doesn't. She still calls Duncan dad. Well, yeah, he's yeah. he's her adoptive father. I know yes. the story of Masters of the Universe. Yes, yes. But do you think he is an uneducated moron? <laughs> yes, all everything you said is is completely accurate and true, and we know this, but mm-hmm. she doesn't know it yet. And they, there's like they try to tell her like a few times in the show. Like Doug is like, wait, I have one last thing to tell you. And she's like, not now. We have to stop evil thing. Gotcha. We have to know. stop Merman. It has a lot of fun Easter eggs. It has Merman like, practically stops himself. Yeah. Yeah, he always fucks everything up and he can't yeah. even talk properly. Well, actually, he doesn't talk like that anymore. Now he talks like Batman. And when <laughs> I say Batman, I mean Kevin Conroy is the voice of Merman in the oh. uh why why? <laughs> Is he at least underwater when he's re- recording his dialogue? Because otherwise, what's the point? 
The reason yeah. why I didn't like the show is because nice. the script seems just like the scripts from the 80s. The where... first episode. Are you sure about that? I oh feel my... like you're well, making you, this you up. Let me finish a goddamn sentence, will you, will you? cat man? So you, you're wearing a cat on your shirt. You got, he, he, so the first episode plays out like an episode of the 80s cartoon is in the first half. And the second it, episode plays out like a Shakespearean play. Yes. <laughs> That's the first episode because at the end of the first episode. And the third episode is a German opera. You'll never even know what's going on, but the music is. Mwah. So, so, you know, at the end of the first episode, he man has to sacrifice himself to save Eternia and stop Skeletor once and for all. And then they have to say, Oh my God, everything sucks now. Oh, and the king loses his shit. And then the second episode starts up and it's like five years later. Was there at least a PSA in there? Yeah, Orko <laughs> comes out and says, don't let your friends die without the king knowing that his son is really He-Man. And then the credits roll. <laughs> Does He-Man like, like, you know, open up his jerk organ. off. I don't no, know does he like is. kill himself with the sword? Does he commit seppuku and like his yes, organs fill out? And you see his organs. And oh, his wow. Mm -hmm. I so had the organs. <laughs> oh. Is this for kids or is this for adults? Yes. I would say it's probably like a 12 pluser. Although Elliot watched some of it with me. So let's say a 10 pluser. I like the art. Yeah, it looks, I think it looks great. I like it. And yes, I spoiled the first episodes and I didn't even warn anyone, but who cares? Really. What did you spoil? I didn't even hear any spoilers in there. Uh huh. He said what happens at the end of the first episode. He said uh -huh. it sucked at the beginning and then it gets better. And He Man opens up his guts and they spill out onto the floor. And it ends on a cliffhanger. I'll say that too, which, you know, I don't know if that's a spoiler either. Oh, it <laughs> ends and it makes you want to watch more of it. So. <laughs> All right. Right. But I really liked it, actually. I, I I didn't know what to expect. I didn't think I would, you know, particularly like it very much. Yes, you need to get through the first episode. It is intentionally kind of throwbacky. There's a lot of Easter eggs if you know your He-Man and your He-Man figures. I think Shipwreck would kind of love it just so he could point out, oh, my God, I can't believe I would watch it if, if I had Netflix. I don't I'm not going to yeah. sign up for Netflix to watch this show. Mm -hmm. Could, though. In theory. In theory, like theoretically, that is possible, but. I'm, I'm, I, I'm going to live high on this month of HBO Max I have. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah. What's you got a lot it's, of Rick and Morty to catch up on. Right. That's, what's the name of the show? He-Man what? Masters of the Universe. Oh, it's called Masters of the Universe. I think it's Revelations or something, isn't it? Yeah, Masters of the Universe Revelations. Uh, okay. Not to be confused, they're, they are releasing another He-Man in the Masters of the Universe show that's aimed at the Y7 crowd. Ooh! Oh, that's under seven. I thought you said. Yeah. I thought you were going seventeen. And An we're angry man. An angry man. <laughs> why? Why does he man speak in small words now? <laughs> why small words, he man? All right. Uh, is that it for watch this, boys? I also watched the movies that made us on Netflix. The new season. Uh, Back to the Future, Jurassic Park, Forrest Gump, and Pretty Woman. I've the seen those movies. movies. Yeah, it's the behind the scenes of all four of those movies. I learned some things I didn't know, and it was interesting. And there you go. Let me know when Robocop is on that show. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised. I already know everything. I don't care. No, there's actually a real Robocop documentary coming out that's been in the making for years called Robodoc, I think. And I think that it's coming out soon. That sounds appropriate. Okay. They I even got Peter it. Weller to record something for it. Yeah. Dr. Peter Weller, excuse me. Dead or Alive documentary. No, RoboCock, I said. <laughs> that's, that's what it's called. All right, let's move on to new releases. Okay. Can oh, we wow. do that? We, we just, yeah, we just skipped right ahead. Oh, did you want to talk about the uh, Olympic no, music? we're good. We're okay. good. Yeah, we I, didn't skip anything. What are you talking no, about? No, no, I just didn't realize we were here. Right. Oh, but we should, I should shout out tech-gaming.com who puts up these great new release lists every week. Saves me a lot of time. So yeah, I appreciate I'll cheat, that. Cheat for each show. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thanks, Robert. You're welcome. Not you. Oh. Um, <laughs> this list is not very interesting to me. No. It, where's Splitgate? Where's the... Did you guys try out Splitgate? I did. I there talked about go. it last week. I, think. I know. I know. 
Do you want to talk about it again? No, no, I haven't played any more of that. Uh, how come the uh, Flight Simulator is not on here? Isn't that considered a new release? It came out on Tuesday. Well, Are you the, blaming Tech Dash Gaming? Yes. Uh, his release list doesn't line up with our release schedule. So I don't, you, you I, could talk about flying planes. How the, how's the plane flying? I flew planes. I flew a plane from Manhattan to approximately where I live. But it wasn't quite where I live because, I don't know, I'm a little disappointed in the map, to be honest. I expected it to look a little bit better when you get closer to the ground. It does, depending on where you, where you are. So, like, if you're flying yeah. into your neighbor, you know, if you live in Manhattan, it's going to look fucking awesome. If you yeah, live looks, on Long it, Island, it's probably not going to look that great, depending they on... They had the, the whole Massapequa Preserve, and that was kind of cool, that they yeah. actually had it, and they had the lake in the right place, and I could tell. Yeah. And that was kind of nice. That's also how I knew where when I was close to my house. But yeah, everything from there is pretty murky. Sure. I was disappointed also in the University of Pittsburgh. Uh, they just put generic skyscraper where the Cathedral of Learning is supposed to be. And I feel like that's one of the things that they should have had in the game. I would recommend doing like they have some scenic flights that they recommend that you do. And like those, all the environments are going to be like rendered perfectly but they they can't get every neighborhood like all at once i am saying basically. that they need to step it up if they want can you just do wombat's neighborhood back. microsoft are you listening just do wombat's part I, of the world no a minimum the cathedral of learning okay just that yeah i'd be happy with just that i flew i took off from from kennedy i flew into manhattan and then i circled back around to land at kennedy and i landed and it, it was a hard landing. I bounced a couple times, but I got, you know, well, and then I went to like guy shaving in the bathroom. Yeah, he was fucked. Yeah, he, <laughs> he you know, his, his ears off. But uh, I, I was trying to hit the brakes or something. I didn't know which button was the brakes or anything. So I just hit all the buttons and then the game just crashed. So like the plane didn't crash, but the game crashed. It takes like 10 minutes for a flight to start. Um, and this is on the brand new, the, the, you know, the Xbox Series X brand new machine. No load times, they say. Well, not for this game. This game was intense this on my... Got, yeah. This game's got lots of loads. It's a lot of cloud shit going on. And I know even on my, my hot shit gaming PC, it was... You were watching... This seemed even faster than the gaming PC. Even even though it seems slow, you're watching that bar go across. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually seemed faster. But I don't know. Like The performance was just okay, in my opinion. Like It didn't seem like super great in terms of oh, frame oh, rate. Yeah. I'm more excited for the ascent tomorrow. That game looks fun. What's, what's that? That's like a, a top down Diablo style RPG cyberpunk style. Yeah, feature. Twin stick, twin stick shooter. I don't no? know if it's twin stick or not. It might be. Okay. It might also be one where you aim and pull the trigger. I don't know if it's just full on auto fire. Understood. Like Robotron. I remember watching a, a video of that it did look pretty yeah, cool. That comes out tomorrow. That looks pretty, pretty cool. Is that a game pass thing? Yep. Nice. I have it preloaded, yeah. Look at you with we your We were preload. talking about it today on the CAG Discord channel in the Xbox room. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, what else we got this hmm. week? I saw this game, Orcs Must Die 3. And okay, I played the first two. Some guy wrote a review of it, and he was like, this is my favorite game. <laughs> like, I love this game. Okay. Uh, but I don't, I'm not familiar with this. Oh, uh, it's... It's like a traps game. You set up traps. Castle defense or whatever. Yeah, <clears throat> kind of like that type stuff. Yeah. Power I'm, thinking, the, uh, right? I'm thinking of the right thing. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You are. You are. Yeah. yeah. What about Night Book? Is that the crime solving book? <laughs> mm, no, it sounds good though. <laughs> sounds boring. What could a book really do? Uh, I don't Unless know, you're every, the Inspector uh, Gadget, uh, Penny's book from Inspector Gadget. That was a good book. Was, you mean an iPad? <laughs> <laughs> It had a yeah yeah it was it was an though. iPad was, before there was such a thing as an iPad. That's yes. true. She's she's yeah. an innovator. Mm hmm. Yep. They owe her money. Yeah. Samurai Warriors Five. How about that. How about that? It's Catch probably me outside, similar. How about to, that? <laughs> probably similar to the other ones. <laughs> I'm thinking they haven't innovated much there. <laughs> I huh? mean, I know people. I've seen people, you know, like uh, you know, talking about it on the internet, uh -huh. uh, and and they seem to really like it. I don't. No, because I don't know. I mean, I know what Samurai Warriors is, so. I played some Warriors Orochi 3 this week. Why? Because I hit the random button on Xbox. Oh, okay. I was like, all right, Warriors Orochi 3. 
And I had some fun with it for about an hour until I, I was in one of those missions where like it, it's constantly like throwing up your different objectives or the objectives have changed like in the corner. And I either I wasn't paying attention or I didn't care. And then the, the level just ended and that was where I stopped the game. Oh, that's right? the kind it's of like, game that I bet your son would enjoy. Yeah, probably... that's what I was like. Oh, he'll he'll uh, it was before he'd woken up that day. And I'm like, oh, he'll come down and we'll be playing this. It'll be fun. Um, but then I remembered that you often lose in those games if you're not paying attention to some random character name that pops up that is getting attacked. Mm. You're like, I don't know if that's on my side. Um, so he, he probably won't play that. Gotcha. He'll stick with the common rider doesn't have that problem. Mm. Understood. What else we got here? Oh, I got one here. Oh, be you battle Mahjong soft solitaire. That happens to be the Whip Smart Spank Spank Banky game this, this week. It's single player Mahjong so Solitaire ship. That's your favorite. I, and I also do like some Mahjong Solitaire. And it had what about Busty Gun and Cannon Girls from Rick G Earth? You know Rick G Earth? I I do not know Rick G Earth. That sounds I like a good know. Earth to me. I've, I've got Disney's Mahjong right here though. Oh, but that doesn't have. Um, a generously endowed nun with an alternate nurse coat and wedding dress, does it? Look on the back. Make sure. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. It's got Captain Hook mm. and, and Stitch. For those in this, this sounds superior. I would say uh, Be Shoju Battle is, Mahjong Solitaire is the one to get. And it's only $6. And it gets Whip Smart's uh, semi lewd rating this week. What else we got in new releases? Oh, there's so many games that I don't want to talk about. Right. Why are there so many games? There's so many games. And I, I don't know what any, it's like all these things. It's like, I just, but none of the, none of them seem like, well, they're, none of them are, you know, triple a, so to speak. There's a lot of DLC. It's a lot of stuff in the $15 range. Very. I like the, the name of this Darius burst game. Darius burst. Another Chronicle EX plus <laughs> another. They put another in the name. It's a great adjective. <laughs> Here's another one. You want games? Here's another. I like those games. They're, they're fun games. Oh, oh, yeah. Most marketing experts agree that un using the word another in, in the name of your product is just a home run every time. Can't... That's what I was going to name my burger joint. Another <laughs> burger. Right. Joint. Anything oh. else? How about Neo, The World Ends With You? That sounds like, so, so, that's a Square Enix thing, right? I've heard of that. Yeah, what, what is that one? Wasn't that like a Game Boy game? No, it's like was a definitely PlayStation game. The, the, the World Ends With You was a DS game? Yeah, that's, that's a Game Boy. Um, but I don't, I don't know what this new one is. What, what we'll is never it? know. Is we'll never the, know. Is it the same thing? It might be the same thing. They might have just released the same thing again. That, that, that happens a lot now. now. Whoa, well, you're switched. saying that they're re-releasing old games as new games, but remastering them a little bit? Because that's like something I've never heard of before. Yes. Yeah, yes. so this is this is a sequel to the DS game. Okay. So it's a sequel, it's new. I don't know if it's new or it's just a sequel to it. Nobody cares. Whatever, whatever that means. Yeah, Polygon says it's a competent RPG haunted by its predecessor. Oh. From 14 years ago. On today, eh? I'm going to stay away. I don't want that. I don't mess with those dark powers. All right. Is it time for Wombat's Fortnightly News? I think so. I think so, because the music's playing. Oh, that's a good reason. Right. So it has to be. It's legally binding now. Wombat, I even put Fortnightly News, Fortnite News on here. I know. And it was already taken down. It was released too early. Oh, it was leaked? It was leaked by James Gunn himself, who had to delete the tweet. Oh, he fucked up. I know. He tweeted out uh, a little film, a little bit of footage of Idris Elba introducing the Bloodsport skin for Fortnite. Bloodsport, the character from Suicide Squad. Is he in that movie? Yes. Idris Elba plays Bloodsport. Never heard of him. And he was like, yo, bro, it's my skin from Idris Elba. That's how, That's he, how talks. he talks. Yeah, he's very British. How did he get a job talking like that? I don't know. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, He talks like Winston Churchill. In case those who don't know. I think Idris Elba should play Winston Churchill. But anyway, 
Uh, Not James Bond, Winston no, Churchill. Winston Churchill. <laughs> we'll get him on the seas. And we'll get him on the uh, he, he, so James Gunn got yelled at by, Yeah, he uh, must have And that's that to me is the funniest thing Is that someone at Fortnite PR Probably had to like email his people Who had to find him Wherever he was Probably doing whatever he wants Because why not And they're like Oh, you got to take that tweet down And he was probably like, what? Right, oh, <laughs> right I Forgot that there's dates for these things Yeah So so, so there's going to be When's the movie coming out? Soon? Uh, it comes out soon, and it's got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes with 42 reviews. Those are all the people who agreed to give it good reviews, though. Um, for we'll 42 it. of them. Yep. Um, I don't care. I have HBO Plus, so I'm going to watch it. Um, you have to wait for the reviews like that come out the day of. Yeah. The skin looks pretty cool. We'll see how much they charge for it. Okay. Uh, how about this Activision walkout? That's the big news this week. That is the big news this week. This whole fucking Activision mess. Yep. They had, they said Bobby tried to get ahead of it after fumbling it and released a, an e, a, sent a letter saying how they're going to take care of it. And as he finally hired an outside counsel, the outside counsel being a Trump administration SEC lawyer. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he was a Trump supporter, I think. He was. To... Well, yeah. This is a, this is the, the lawyer that said it was okay after all these reps were buying like, buying and selling pharmaceutical stocks like right before we all knew about COVID, but they already knew about COVID. Mm -hmm. Remember when that happened? Oh, yeah. This this is the person that was like, hey, I'm not going to send these people to prison. Cool. That's the lawyer. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I'm sure there's, there's you know, more nuanced uh, discussion of this person. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if I trust the Wall Street lawyer to give a fair and balanced uh, investigation <laughs> Investigation here, but, you know. Right, that's maybe just for you. Yeah, that could just be me. <laughs> and you read about, like, this the, the Cosby suite allegations? Yeah. I saw the, yep, yep. And I saw one of the guys in the tweet tried to, like, in the picture to tweet it about it, saying, it's like, hey, look, it was just the name of the room because we had the poster in it. And then, like, text messages somehow got leaked where they were like, let's bring these girls up to the Cosby room. You know what that's for? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Right. I read is... that. Yeah. I guess you're all. Uh, They're covering yeah. their ass. Like, it is like individual people now have to cover their ass because yeah. there's all this records of stuff. And this is obviously going to affect them long term. So here's where I was disappointed today the most. So when all this was going on and I, you know, and I would see the hash that the hashtag Activision walkout mm -hmm. and, you know, and I, I do support the people at Activision. I, I think they're, you know, they're, they're right to want to work in a safe work environment, especially for a company of that size. Um, I was like, yeah, I wonder if they're getting the support from streamers because they have a, a probably, you know, have the, they have the biggest audience and probably the most influence of anyone involved in this in any way not that they're involved they don't work for activision right. but they have the most outside facing voice and the number one first person shooter on twitch when i checked it with about one hundred and fifty thousand concurrent viewers was of course call of duty it was like number three in the world it was only behind the the just chatting and uh league of legends right and it was like this one guy, like one person alone with 45,000 views. That was me. Yeah. Playing Oof. a game, playing the game, a game while everyone who worked on that game was right. walking Oops. out to fight for, you know, their personal rights. He's like, Hey, I'm playing the game now. Everybody gets pumping more money to these guys. So that guy sucks. I don't know his name, but uh Well, some some gaming websites and and YouTube channels are saying they're not going to cover Activision stuff like until they feel like the situation has improved. Are they just freeing that up though for someone else to jump in? I don't Do know. Think, and I think it's the game or the person. I guess that's the real question. You mean the company or the person? No, like is it the streamer or is it the game that people care more about? Oh, um well there's some streamers who that's just like they're pro Call of Duty players. That's what yeah. they do. They play eight hours. I follow a, c a couple of them. That's what they do. They play eight hours a day and they just play Call of Duty. And they're like super good and they have thousands of people watching them. And so it may not be a situation where it's so simple that they can just like, oh, I'm going to stream Fortnite. It's like, this is what they do. That's all they do. 
I, yeah, I, I know. But I hear what you're saying. I, certainly still, for a like, day, they could yeah, do it. they could have taken one day off. Darkness is asking who it was in the chat. Uh, and I, he gave me gave two names. I believe it was Nick Merckx. I don't know anything about him. He could be a nice guy. He could be an a-hole with the name Nick Merckx. Um, you know, but he could have <laughs> taken a day. Take a day. And it's not too late. He could, they could do it. Uh, they could take another day. But yeah, it would have been nice to coincide with the, the actual walkout well, for sure. Yeah, and be like, I'm not going to play. I'm not going to yeah. stream this today. You know, even if you just went on and played nothing and said, I'm not going to stream any games today because of the walkout. I just want to bring some attention to what they're doing and why. Definitely. Definitely. And I hope Activision sorts this all out because I love their games. Like, you, that's all you have to do one day. That's what, uh, you know, Prima Games, they make the guides, the game guides. Yes. They said they're not doing any more Activision games until they, you know, at least till the end of the, throughout this year. And they're going to, I mean, or they're not going to update anything either. Yeah. Um, and then they'll re- check in and see how Activision is doing. Which... I saw, um, I, I, I don't want to get this wrong. Mm. Is it, am I supposed, is it Stephanie Sterling now? Oh, uh, I think it's Jim Stephanie Sterling. Okay. But... I don't want to get it right. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, even though I do follow him. They, her, I, they. Sorry, I saw, I'm not I saw, good at this. I'm an old a, guy. I know it's 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 okay. I saw I saw one of their tweets, and they were calling out a publication that they didn't name, but they wrote about the whole thing. And then at the bottom of the article, and this is what the tweet was, where it was just like. Activision has a lot of hot new releases coming out this fall, such as the new Call of Duty and this and that. And you, Ubisoft also this fall has coming out. I'm like, really? You can't just like <laughs> have it be about one thing, have it be about the one thing and not be about the promotion of the game. So you still say on their good graces, even when you're trying to like write a little bit of a slam piece, you need to make sure you still get those review copies. So, yeah, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. you know what the weird thing is, like, Activision doesn't really do much anymore besides put out Call of Duty games and like what, what's come out of them in the last several years, but that's not Call of Duty. Spyro and Crash games. You got a Tony Hawk remaster, which Uh, is, you know. Well, it's all the Blizzard stuff too. It's the World of Warcraft. But but it's just World of Warcraft is an ongoing thing, you know, okay. But yeah, like what's they're, they're what make, this is a huge making, fucking company. Like what where's the where's the look, innovation? Where's the new stuff? Like Bobby Kodak. No, 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 no. There's no innovation. No, they they sailed that a long time ago, right? But they there's not even need, new they products. Don't need to innovate. There's they not don't, even new they, products. They they kept on slicing away at it until they had their money makers. I mean yeah. at what at what point they had like three games, right? They had they had Skylanders and uh Call of, Call of Duty. And then what was the other one? They had one other Destiny. one. Uh, no, Guitar Hero. Oh, Guitar. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was like, that was like their three games for They're a while. They're really and... good at being lean and mean. How, what's the least we have to release mean, for the for sure. most, for the most amount of money. And it's what they do. And they're really good at. It. And that's, that's the skill set. It's something that EA has never really done as well as activision in my in my opinion you can argue with me i don't know i don't know but ea is like i feel like they put down more stuff they've got licensing deals as well right ea activision completely did away with all of their licensing deals Um, they're like we're just a call of duty we're a call of duty world of warcraft company and you know, Diablo will you know spit up a Diablo once in a while (laughs) rehash one and they were, you know, and that's it, which is, you know, it's kind of boring and also like very lucrative, how are you gonna very, get... a very boring and very, lucrative. very boring and very lucrative. If that was the motto of your company, you'd get investors. I mean, I've been an investor, but it's like, they could be, how about something new? Like you can make more money. Like EA is trying, but putting you, out you... new products and they're, they're finding success. Other companies are, are doing they? it. I guess Apex. Apex is a big success for them. But yeah, it's risky. Sure, it is risky. But well, they did. They, that's what the Call of Duty, uh, you know, war, war, war. What is that called again? Why am I Warzone? 
thank you. My brain just stopped. <laughs> um, I mean, that's what Warzone was. I yeah. mean, that's a big departure for them. It's just they slapped that Call of Duty name on it because it's the right thing to do. Oh, well, they just pulled off. They just pulled the mode out of the game and made it free to play out of the oh, paid yeah. one. And uh, that's they have a free to play component. Yeah. Any, but it's. It's like, yeah, that was obvious. Like, that's, of course you do that. Like, is it obvious? Tell that to Ubisoft because they haven't been able to figure that out. Well, yet. <laughs> they figured it out. They just haven't made the right, they can't make a game. They haven't, they don't have Call of Duty. They, they don't have like that shooting mechanic. They don't have, their games don't feel like that. Uh, but their new one is going to be a huge hit. X to the Zibit. I don't know defiant? what it's called. X, <laughs> X Defiant. defiant. I, I already forgot. X XD. If that play if it has that song in it, every time you load the game up, I think we have something. If they don't, then forget it. Don't even bother putting the game out. Uh anything else we want to say about Activision? No. I have doubts they'll turn it around. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Overwatch. Yeah. What about Overwatch? They haven't put out a new Overwatch in fucking forever. I know, but that's still, it's still an Activision game. But if they've let it like go to, sh they've, that game's needed a, a like a sequel or something to, for like at least two years. Like at least. It's just been, it's so stale right now. And I, you know, I don't think that's like a controversial statement. I think that's pretty, pretty much agreed upon. Yep. Um, I forgot what else I was going to say about Activision, but yeah. They could do more. They could be doing more. Forget about like the, you know, the internal work stuff. Just like in terms of putting out games. No, I, don't, I, I think, don't forget about don't that. Don't forget about that. That's the forefront. But yeah. I'm saying like, you should, I don't think we should be all that impressed with like the, the, what they've been putting out recently. That's all. Uh, what else we got here? Wombat. Uh, there's going to be another Dead Space game game but it's a remake is that what is that what you're saying there was an ea play event last week there was where they announced uh they were <laughs> they were making a they were remastering or not remastering but remaking dead space so not just improved graphics but i guess like quality of life improvements and and uh, modern upgrades i guess whatever that means that game seemed pretty modern from what i remember <laughs> i'm not sure what it needs um, that look, I watched that whole EA play thing. Anyway, um, the most interesting thing of that, I thought was the battlefield 2142 portal. Did you see that? Did you catch that? I saw a little bit of it. It's where you can like pit modern forces against world war two forces, but, right. but set up the rules, like basically anything you want. So you could have like four modern troopers against 30 world war ii soldiers or whatever you want like you know you could have like you guys you know, make the game i don't know right that's the idea <laughs> right you got, got all these assets so right it's, you figure it out but that's cool like it remind. there's some game like that where you can like pit like penguins against tanks i forgot what it, i forgot what it's called battle simulator Real i want it to be called penguins versus tanks it's not. It's called like I real life. I think that life. game would sell. I I no, think you're the, onto something. It's a game. It's a it game. It actually is a game. Yeah. It's a game. It's just not called that. Um, and that's what they're trying to do with this. It looked really cool. It looked fun because you can, and you can create your own like game mode, and then other people can try it. And then they they had some like streamers, you know, uh, make their own game mode. So it's like like one tank against like yeah or, it, yeah. It, it, it fun. seems seems clever. But fun. Sure. Let's go fun. with fun. Fun, I said. That looked cool. That that was the to me that was like the highlight of that event. Um, yeah. And that's uh, that was it. That that was all of EA play. That was pretty much it. And Where then was Apex. EA play was it was it just all digital this year? Yep. It was uh the the wrestler hosted it. Austin Green. Brian Austin Green. No, I'm not sure. Austin, somebody. Stone Cold Steve Brian Austin Green. They, uh, what else did they show? Apex Legends. I've been playing a lot of Apex Legends recently. I'm going to maybe finish the Battle Pass this season. Nice. Um, maybe my first completed Battle Pass. I'm almost up to level 200 in Fortnite. Is that the, is that the limit? 
No, the limit's 100. How do you, you get, get all the 200? Extra, you get the extras on top of the battle pass to get when you hit 200. So that 100 is not really the limit then? No, it's not really. It's your fake limit. It's the fake limit. For fake, yep. for fake Fortnite players. I'm going to get all the rainbow skins. Rainbow. Congrats. Yep. I'm going to get rainbow foil Rick. That seems big. <laughs> Huge if true. <laughs> Uh, Anything else? Oh, PS5 and Xbox Series X uh, apparently have both broken records for their respective companies. I guess. Congratulations. People are buying new consoles. But they're hard to make, and, and so you think that there would be some sort of problem there, but apparently... They come out. How is that ship? Explain how during this shortage situation that we can break records. I understand the breaking records. I just, I guess, because everybody was home and looking for video games. I'm just, I'm surprised it's true. I have not investigated the numbers to see. 10 million, they said. PlayStation said 10 million PS5s. That seems like a lot Can, compared to like, they don't have any games for it. Right? Uh, like, I mean, by, I don't mean either one of them doesn't have any games. Like they're, yeah. they're not putting out next gen games, right? Sure. They have all the, Ratchet and Clanks and Returnals and yeah, I've, I've got those. I understand that. Um, but I think I saw that like Ratchet and Clank only moved like a 1.5 million copies. Well, or something people like aren't that. buying a PlayStation Five for the games; they're buying a PlayStation to ha- Five to have a PlayStation Five or and an air filter. Yeah, the the, the, <laughs> the games are are ancillary to the reasons for buying the console. You gotta, you gotta flex still, on your bros. We're still at the point of this of the generational cycle where people are only buying a console because they want to buy a console. They're, they're, that The shift will come, but that's like two or three years even down the line. That's what I, I don't know. It seems that. weird to me. But yeah, How'd 10 million it? PS5s and 6.5 million Xbox Series X and or S's. Total. Oh, okay. I that, didn't know the that Xbox number, number. Seem, seems reasonable. I mean, Xboxes have been more easy to get, and you have two different models there. And mm-hmm. 6.5 is not, I think it's a big number, but it's not like a, oh, okay, that, that's really something to, to think about. The 10 million PlayStation 5s seem, I mean, I, I seems guess the, off to me. I, I guess the question is of that 10 million, what's the, what's the global breakout of that 10 million? Maybe that would help. I don't know. I need to investigate. I, I don't, I'm gonna I get to the bottom of this. Know. Yeah, I'm report back for next week. This. Yeah, please. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some some polling. Get some just calling around, knocking on neighbors' doors, yeah. seeing seeing what they have. Ask that robot that works at Stop and Shop. I think he would know. Maybe I have to like hack into him. Yeah, I'll ask Marty. Marty, that's his name. Yeah. All right, remember let's... his name. <laughs> we speak your name, Marty. Uh, let's move on to Cheapy's Quest Corner. Did you know that Oculus Quest 2 has been recalled and they're not selling them anymore? Well, that, because they have to put silicone wrappers in the box now? Because people have reported getting face irritations from the, the liner on it. My wife does. It's Is that cheap. the one that you guys have? Yeah. yeah but we cool. have, I have the silicone <laughs> thing that I got from Supernatural that's solves the issue they'll send you a new uh, uh replacement liner on the I know, website I, did, I, I clicked the button to get mine. i did too yeah. let's see how good it is yeah exactly i'm not but, why would i why wouldn't i but they so stopped selling like them. the the rubbers that you got for the wii boats when that happened right yeah we all, we it, all, we all got similar, the free rubbers yeah it's a very similar situation they're like oh the the cushion that when you put it on your face is giving people rashes well here's a thing that you flip over that so you don't get a rash problem solved it's not like it's not a recall like the thing's gonna melt on your face right but it could no it, yeah <laughs> your, your face just might melt from the toxins in the in the liner mm-hmm. anyway just in case anybody who bought one of these from listening to the show has noticed that their face looks different recently this might be the reason yeah all right, let's do a, uh, a quick shipwreck, slightly uncomfortable segment. I think I know the answer to this one, and I tweeted it out already in anticipation, but oh, here we go. This, about it. Okay. this is from Shanna Fan. He says, would shipwreck ever uninstall a game if the publisher or developer was ever in controversy, such as Activision Blizzard? I'd leave that to Wombat. 
<laughs> yeah, oh, no. no way, no way is the answer. I, I, no way I, I, is the answer. Uninstall a game off your off your. You're never doing that. What, the answer is what no. Is it, I I. What's the situation? What's hard, the, okay. Like I have a hard time seeing how that fixes anything. Okay, Monster Truck Ultimate Monster Truck. The uh, the lead developer on that. Uh, he was caught uh, abusing animals. You have the game installed on your Xbox. Do you uninstall it? No. There it is. Like, my kid likes playing a monster truck game. Would you get the new one knowing that that would directly support said animal abuser? Now that's a different, that's a different that's story. That's a different question. That's a I know. completely different story. Like, yes, th then, then I, I actually have something to think about, right? Like me uninstalling a game I already own on my, on my yeah, that's, Xbox. It's, 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 once again, <laughs> Shanna fan doesn't understand the exercise. So <laughs> I answered it on Twitter. I tweet I, and I said, there's no fucking way. It was my answer. I'm pretty uh -huh. sure. So yeah, you may have to but, dig that up. But, but yeah, no, the real question is, is if you knew that the executive producer of, of monster jam 17 or whatever the heck it's going to be, uh, -huh. uh what, there's film footage of him kicking a dog in the face and the dog dying. Do you buy Monster Jam 17 knowing that it will directly line his pocket and support dog beatings? Yeah, like he there's film footage of him saying, Get out of my way, you stupid dog. Steel to steel toe boots win again. Yep, and I bought these boots with money from the last Monster Truck game with yeah. shipwrecks money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's exactly how much exact, I got. That's what he says. Like he that. goes, yeah. Yeah. says, take that shipwreck. None of, none of shipwreck jam. money went to any of the other people who made this game. Nope. When he, when he, Just when he goes, to him. Yep, when he goes in for the kick, he actually yells out, Monster Jam. Yep, shipwreck boots brought right. to you by Monster Jam. I, I'd consider not buying it. Okay, <laughs> okay that's there right. we go. We have our answers, <laughs> Jana fan. Good, good. Uh, that poor dog. <laughs> Let's move on to Microsoft, <laughs> right? Let's move on to Microsoft. The this is exciting because we're talking about how the new consoles, there's no new games. Halo Infinite's uh, first multiplayer test is starting this week or tomorrow, actually Thursday. Yeah, but none of us losers got in. I got in. What? I just filled out the form and got I in like I a normal person. Was, I didn't even know there was a form. I should have and told you about I'm, the form. That's my that's bad. Okay, I'm I'm okay. And now I can hold it over your head. Exactly. I'm excited. Me, to me, see me, you, me, uh, me, 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 me. Are you allowed to stream it or is there like rules against it? I don't know. They said there will, it starts tomorrow, but there will be more news coming soon about how I can download it. I don't have the news yet. Probably tomorrow. But there's only certain times you can play. It's like two hours during the afternoon and two hours. I don't like that. I don't, I can't, I'm not like appointment gaming. You know? Yeah, well, have fun with that. I'm gonna play Fortnite and these. I'll let you know. Mm. I like Halo, but it's just I a like technical Halo too, test. But I'm, I'm gonna be perfectly happy and of course release the game and then play it. I'm helping them make the game make it better so that when I get it, I'll be extra happy that I know that you contributed to making this mm -hmm. a good product. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I can take it or leave it. We're just fighting bots, I think, in the first round of the test. Nice bots. They have bots, bots for the first time. Uh -huh. So we're testing the bots. Well, you say hello, I say goodbye. Okay. Not yet. Almost. We're almost there, I think. <laughs> oh, we're really almost there. I know. All right. We're on to the CAG bag. Nice. Nice. Uh, <laughs> this is from at Kabang Chu. Very important question. Which is worse, talking to someone who only brushes their teeth at night before bed or riding in a car with someone who only showers once a week? Now, does the non-shower person wear deodorant? Deodorant? Does it matter? Yeah, no, it could. If you're wearing deodorant but haven't showered for a week, there's a very good chance you may not notice. It's not going to be. Depends. Like, it depends on what this person's been doing as well as not showering. Yeah, I mean, you know, if it's someone is yeah, if it's just someone who's been sitting in in an air conditioned room all week and they put on deodorant and left the house, you may not I, notice. I feel like I feel like you're you're kind of hedging it that way like what if the person didn't brush their teeth ate lots of mints or dog shit yeah well no see you're <laughs> you're you're playing the game <laughs> right right but there's if he, too many x factors here that i yeah. don't know so the showering I, I, I can't get if i'm in a car 
with them it's it's the showering it's a convertible though how long are you in the car for it doesn't matter i mean what if you have to stick your tongue down the throat i'm of, a big of i'm a big proponent there. of showers what if it's a really big car with a great ventilation system and or convertible we need more information kabang chu now hit us up for the next yeah, week. yeah i i have too many questions at gaming dad writes in and asks have gamers gotten spoiled Hearing there are no new games for the new consoles, yet games come out every week. Older consoles had monthly releases, sometimes longer. I'm 45, by the way, and I remember how long I played Toshinden and Ridge Racer on PS1. I mean, yeah, yeah. gamers are spoiled. They've been <laughs> spoiled for like a decade. I don't know. Ever since we could download the games, there's like this expectation that the companies just push a button and the games come out. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, ga and of course games are such a bigger business now. So there's a lot more companies making games. Yes, we are spoiled. We're spoiled by everything now, not just games. You know, everybody's spoiled about everything. In and, fact, I, I was in Starbucks today. we're looking today. for the AAA ones too, right? Like that's, that's what everybody's truly looking for. Is right. Those... I don't know that there's fewer of those now. It's just been slowed down. It, it's, sure. yeah, it's just that there's all, so many other games that are like out on a weekly basis that it, that you look at all the other games and it's like, eh, this looks like something that comes out every week. Whereas when the triple a ones were like, you knew like every, every couple of weeks, it was like, Oh, here comes the big new release. This is what's on the horizon. Whereas now you just log into the store and you're just blasted in the face by like 25 new games that you've never heard of. Yeah. It's, it's a different, it's, and also I would say like the pandemic combined with the new consoles, you know, like the new console generation has just slowed all these AAA shits down a lot. So I don't think that's like a big surprise. So that's why we feel like we're in a lull and we are, but usually there's some delay when the new consoles come out and only before we see like the games that really are like next gen, take advantage of it. So just wait. And this, but this holiday season, I feel like, you know, we're going to get Forza, Halo, Horizon. Guardians of the Galaxy. That doesn't look that next gen. I got to be honest. <laughs> that looks. No? I want to play it, but that's just the. Uh, it's looking a little janky. It's looking like. <laughs> like if they made the movie and it came out with that type of jank, people would have been like, is this Marvel movie? Uh, what's, the, what's the raccoon's name? Rocket? Rocket doesn't look right. With, with what's the name of the raccoon in it? Yeah, what's, who's that? That's, that's not Rocket. That? Is that Racket Raccoon? Why does he look like an uh, animatronic uh, mess? Uh, no, I'm sure the game hey, will be fine. Hey, Grut, we gotta find a thing, Grut. We're Star King. But nobody's buying <laughs> the next-gen systems to play Guardians of the Galaxy. They're waiting for the Forza, the Halo, the God of War, the... And so horizon on. the horizon that's not yeah. yeah need more though i expected more from what's, flight simulator what's coming out after those what did you expect from flight simulator it's, it's, it's a it's a game where you fly a plane i i thought i you know what i thought it would look nicer there's just something about it where it doesn't look as nice as i thought it would. maybe your tv needs an upgrade i mean is that what it is is it my tv maybe it's you did maybe you shower this too. week maybe your smell is interfering with the graphics are you smelling yourself? What are you doing? You looking for a washcloth? I'm hiding. No, I did shower oh. today. <laughs> I showered today. I can confirm that. Yeah, I, I think they're going to be, I think probably like a game like Flight Simulator is just going to be updated a lot so they get the performance to where they want it to be. Because I know that on PC, that's what's happening. And it's probably going to be the same on the console. All right. I think we made it to the end of the show. Yes. Let's remind everybody who's listening to us in podcast form that we're here on Twitch most every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Shipwreck is usually drinking a beer, and you can see that happening in very clear video. And Wombat is wearing an, uh, some sort of video game shirt or fast food-related shirt, and you can see that as well. Have I ever worn a fast food-related shirt? Arby's. Oh, I wore the Arby's Hawaiian shirt. There you go says the man who subscribes to the Arby's box that delivers him Arby's merchandise monthly. They only did that once, one year, and there was like some crazy statistics on it that on um, how few people got that merch. What does that even mean? Like, like it was like, it, it turned out to be very rare collector's items. 
everything in that box. So what are you saying? You're retired now? I'm retired now. <laughs> you I got sold the Arby's it all. money? Yep. <laughs> Living high off the hog, literally. <laughs> Arby's, Arby's, ca- Arby's swag cash? Uh-huh. Nice. You should get that graded at WADA. I was going to say, you thought those Mario games were, were uh, expensive? <laughs> Did you see my, those ar- roast beef slippers? My Arby's cutting board is worth $98 million. <laughs> it seems like it's worth it. <laughs> oh, what else, Wombat? Join the CAG Discord. Discord.gg slash CAG. It's fantastic. And what else, Wombat? Uh, don't forget to use my Fortnite creator code, Wombat5277. It's also good on Epic Game Store purchases. What about what else? What about a vaccine? I think you should. Everyone should get vaccinated. It's it's it helps you. It helps your community. The only way we're going to end this pandemic is if you if you're over the age of twelve, you get a vaccine. I was in the city today, uh-huh. and I was just walking a ping pod, and I saw a guy with a needle on the street. He was not giving himself the vaccine. Sure. It was disturbing. That is disturbing. Yeah. I've, I don't know if I've ever seen that on the streets of Manhattan. And I've seen lots of strange things. That was a first for me, I think, seeing the actual needle. Like, that area by Penn Station now is, like, that's a, that's a scary spot. Like, even, like, several blocks around there, there's a lot of people just passed out on the sidewalk. That's what happens when no one works there anymore and no one has ever lived there. I mean, that's the problem. Like, it's an area where no one really lives. And there's now, you know, what was once full of people working is now half vacant. Now it's people shooting drugs on the street. Like, you see, like, I see that I've seen every time I've been in that area in the last couple of weeks, I've seen people buying drugs on the street. Like, I've seen that. Today was the first time that I saw the guy actually injecting the drug into his arm on the sidewalk. And while I was walking, I was walking in one direction on the sidewalk. This guy was, you know, just like, like on the ground, you know, seated. And then coming towards us, towards me, was a mom and her two daughters. And I saw the look on their faces as they were coming. I was like, oh, this is fucking, this is why you don't want to live in New York with kids. It's rough. It's rough out there. It wasn't always like that, though. I don't know. This, it this wasn't some, like that two years yeah, ago. I know, I know. <laughs> We got then de Blasio. What are you doing, happened. de Blasio? It's, that's not, yeah, like, yeah, let's not blame it on the pandemic. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's, it it's, uh, I mean, I'm not saying he's great. I'm not a fan. But, right. You know. The, the tacos are really good, though, so I would recommend still walking past. Uh-huh. All right, just, then. Just, just be, watch where you walk. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Anything Where's else, Wombat? Uh, no, I think we covered it. Excellent. Well, we're going to read uh, Jake right now with a a mega raid, so don't leave. And we're gonna be there in three seconds. Bread's done. Did it. 